NBC Nation, what is up? We're back with another video on Justice League, the animated series. And today I'm checking out Season 1, Episode 18, titled Legends Part 1. Now, I've heard that this is like a Green Lantern-focused storyline, and that gets me excited. The last Green Lantern-focused storyline was in Blackest Night, and that two-parter was really great. So, I'm expecting greatness from this one as well. I'm excited, guys. And, yeah, let's just get into it. Your latest reaction to Justice League starts now. Okay. Who is Green Lantern fight? Well, wow. Who is... Oh, here comes Hot Girl. Dude, we're just getting right into an action sequence. Oh, yeah. I mean... Let's go Flash, yeah. Dude, sometimes it's just awesome to see the Justice League in action. Oh, is this Lex? Bro, Lex is... <laughs> yeah, it's a full-on Lex Titan, basically. That's what I would call it. Hmm. Dude, Green Lantern is totally knocked out. <laughs> Let's go, Superman. Take down your foe. You're only getting one shot, Batman. Uh, come on, Batman. <sighs> that is so dope. Dude, I like the animation there. The way through the battering. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, Lex is done. Mm. Ooh. Uh, someone's gotta save him. Yeah, oh, Flash got. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, Flash mail. Okay, that's a cool shot. The world's finest. Whoa, dang. Wait, did they disappear? So, okay, that, that was an interesting opening. That was that's probably one of my favorite openings in the entire series yet. Like, just them fighting Lex and just a lot of action, like, it's awesome. But, okay, Batman and Superman got left behind. I didn't see no Wonder Woman. It looked like it was just Hot Girl, Martian Shamander, John Stewart, and Flash. So, is it just gonna be those four that this arc will be focused on? I'm, I'm interested, like, I, I'm, I'm ready. This intro is just so good. Let's go. Legends. I just really like that title. Like that's a cool title. Man? I'm not sure. Hmm. No, they got teleported somewhere. Superman. Batman. Hmm. They're not there. Where'd they go? Perhaps I can contact them with. Ooh. What the heck, dude? What is wrong with Sean? Big guy. You all right? Uh, okay, what is wrong with the world that they've been the transported to? Let's find out and find them. Hmm. So are they in like another universe or are they in like the past? Hmm. It looks like they're in the past. Hmm. Something's not right. Wally. <laughs> Look, it's well, sweetheart. <laughs> Definitely not. Right. Yeah. Hmm. It's very laid back. I haven't seen a truck like that since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Weird. These They're definitely in the past. past. Yep. Nope. The date's right. Huh. But look. Seaboard City. Where the heck yeah, is that? Yeah. Where Where is that? Music Center. Who robs a? Mu 
Wait, is that the Music Meister? Is that the Music Meister? Oh, um, I, I was close. Sorry, Sergeant. I don't take requests. <laughs> Who's the voice actor for this guy? So, Music Master, but... <laughs> that car, he... Dude, that car looks so ridiculous. You so mm. guys can fool me, Green Guardsman. Green, Green Guardsman. Guardsman. It's still the same old song. Green Godsman? What? Uh, ooh. Damn. Right, it makes sense for him to try to rob a music center. I just find it funny that out of all the places to rob. Mm. Come on, Sean. Nice. I wonder, so the Music Master is here. Does the Music Meister ever show up on this show? What's up with that? Perhaps you haven't heard, but in Seaboard City. Who are these people? Okay. Dude, these Ooh, damn, punched Wally hard. Wait, is this guy called Mr. T? Just made a big mistake. Mm. Ooh. Oh, is that take away his powers? Wait! Is that. Dude, is that Wildcat and Liberty Bell? It, it looks like that. Well, I don't know. It, it kind of looks like them, but doesn't. It seems we are not in Metropolis anymore. Nope. Yeah, I got that. Oh, is this the Green Godsman? Mm-hmm. Dude, he looks like Alan Scott. Surrender, villains. <laughs> Surrender, villains. Whoever you are, they be looking like some this. Silver Age heroes. Ooh. Damn, caught her. Let's go, Wally. Yeah, Wally, let's go. You're quick, son. can never outrun justice. Yeah. Who is this guy? Go, go. Wait, so that guy's name is the Streak? Oh, come on, Sean. They don't need a fight. Like, I feel like both of them are just superhero teams. Like, I wonder what this superhero team's name is. Like, is it the Justice Society? I, I don't know. Hmm. Whatever this super team is, they're pretty powerful. Like, they're beating up everyone. Oh, nice. Good job, Wally. <laughs> he realizes, he knows that they're not villains, they're heroes. Mm, come on, hot girl. Stand down. Yeah, stand, stand down. down. No one who would risk his own life to save another could be evil. Mm-hmm. I think perhaps our two teams should talk. Yeah. <laughs> Wally's like, why not? It's like, <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> Classic. Justice Guild of America. Roll call. Black Siren. Green Guardsman. Tom Turbine. The Streak. Dude, those are some cool names. Uh, yeah. Well, Catman is a little dumb, but Black John. Siren. And this is our official Justice Guild Junior Justice Guildsman, Ray Thompson. Mm, when I grow up, I'm gonna Ray be a crime Thompson. Fighter. So long as you remember to eat right and stay in school. Hmm. <laughs> right. Definitely, it's giving me Silver Age vibes. John, what's wrong? Yeah. What? Uh, a sudden dizziness. Mm. So strange. Nothing a tall, cold glass of milk won't cure. Mm. I think I have some freshly baked cookies, too. Let's let the men talk. Okay. <laughs> they can talk all they like. Could you excuse us for a second? <laughs> yeah, so it's a different I time. Like, we need answers here. Black Siren, she's like, hey, I gotta be separated from the men. Long That's long like, long. it's a different time period. We're hot girl, she's different. So, you fight crime and bake cookies. How do you do it? Hmm. This can't be real. 
Tell me about it. How yeah. How much I got during that roll call routine? It's <laughs> not bad. It's the Justice Guild. They're comic book characters. What? Oh. When I was a kid, my Uncle James had the biggest comic book collection I'd ever seen. I'd go to his house every day after school, and we'd read okay. old comics all afternoon. So? So, the street, Tom Turbine, Green Guardsman, they were the stars of my favorite comic book, The Justice Guild of America. Hmm. This is too weird. That's I awesome. Know it sounds corny, but those comics taught me what it meant to be a hero. Without them, well, maybe I wouldn't have this ring today. Okay. Okay. Man, that actually... Oof. Yeah, she kind of hit me. I, I don't know why. That's just just John growing up with comics, and then me as heroes. That's really cool. Mm. Okay, so I'm guessing it's like an Injustice Guild. Mm. Who is this guy? Basketball man. Hmm. Cool it, sportsman. Icicle, I'm guessing. Mm. Enough squabbling. Mm. I propose a contest. No, a wager. A, a wager. I'm game. Mm. Each of us will see who can pull off the most spectacular crime. The winner will earn the honor of devising a plan to destroy the Justice Guild. Okay. Making these new heroes disappear. Mm. Forever. Ooh. I'm interested in that guy. Like, he seems intimidating. Is he like the I wizard? Like, I feel like they have to have simple names. It just makes physics. sense. I have long hypothesized that there are an infinite number of mm. worlds, each containing its own planet Earth. Each Earth the multiverse. The same location in space, but vibrates at a different speed. Flash, the energy blast you absorbed caused you to match. They got the sent to another to universe. Earth. So he created a or, dimensional barriers which brought us here. So, they weren't blasted to the past. They were blasted to another universe that is also in the past. Perhaps the creators of those comics had a subconscious link to this earth. What they thought was merely imagination was a psychic memory of the Justice Guild's real exploits. I couldn't have put it better myself. Fascinating. But how do we get back to our world? What do they do? They have like a time machine. Tinkering with a prototype trans-dimensional gate. Bruh, that, cool. that is so That's dope. Unfortunately, I haven't been mm. able to harness a suitable energy source to power it. Hmm. I guess you're going to be stuck with us for a while. That's fine. Don't worry, friends. I will toil night and day until I discover a way mm. to get you home. In the meantime, how about coffee and dessert? Black Siren. Yeah. Right, chief. <laughs> Hot girl, I am not getting dessert. <laughs> I like how hot girls like I'm not going to the kitchen. Sergeant O'Shaughnessy, mm. to what do we owe this honor? Sorry to drop by unannounced, but we received this letter down at the precinct. I rushed it over here as mm. fast as I could. Not as fast as yourself, <laughs> of course. Well, for someone without superhuman speed, you did just fine, Sergeant. Thanks. Man, this time just seems like so simple and fun, like. Jeepers. Just what does it say? Through the Justice Guild, prepare for our most fiendish plot of all. A mm. crime spree based on the four elements of the ancient four world. Four elements of the fire, ancient air, water, world. Catch us if you can. Dastardly yours, the, mm, Injustice, the Injustice Guild. guild. Criminals tip off the authorities. The worst kind. I doubt there's enough good between the four of them to care for a mm. wounded puppy. Justice League? Yeah. You, help. you can count on us. Ray, the decoder rings. Hmm, the wait. The decoder rings. We don't have time to induct you with a formal ceremony, but consider yourselves honorary members okay. of the Okay. Dude, that's dope. So it's kinda like the Legion of Superheroes, like they get a ring. Now the ring doesn't have a power, or maybe it does, I don't know. But still a cool way to get someone on the team. Let's just go with the person on our left. Wally. Hey, Wally could go at any universe and he'll still be chasing women like sure thing buddy. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll remain here and work on the transdimensional gateway. Getting you home is of equal All right, Mr. T. I'm sure I forgot what that guy's name was. I'm sure I call him Mr. T going forward. Let's go, hot girl. See, I like how 
Catman is like right, like he's basically Batman of the group. They plan to steal the fabled flame of Rasputin, a precious ruby necklace on loan to the Seaboard mm. City Museum. You know yeah. you're stuck. It's an honor to fight beside. The feeling is mm. mutual. You're a credit to your people, son. Uh, <laughs> Different times, like, like. Abracadabra. Mm. Stop! Mm. This time we've caught you red-handed. Indeed. But I've got mm, one he's more got trick, trick. Up my <laughs> Museum of Flying. It's for a little traveling music. <laughs> Dude, he's flying a classic plane. Yes. My hunch about the air crime was dead on. Music master was after that priceless okay. antique fire. I'll stop him. Stop him, hot girl. Dude, Music Master is literally just Music Meister. Like, uh, well, why did you stop her? Oh. It's an irreplaceable piece of our nation's aviation mm. heritage. Then how do you suggest we stop him? By using our okay. wits. Okay, using your wits. Citizens of Seaboard City, I am proud to unveil this new fountain as mm. a symbol. Of my commitment to our fair city's future. Imagine, like, just a statue of dolphins in the middle of your. Oh, uh, is this the icicle guy? What's this guy's actual name? If you'll excuse me, Mr. Mm. Mayor, I'll be leaving with my chill mm. gotten games. <laughs> chill out, Blizzard! <laughs> Ooh, dude, how Wally slid in. That was dope. Ice, forgive me if I give you the cold mm. shoulder. <laughs> He's got ice puns and everything. He's like Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. He also reminds me like uh his look reminds me like uh what's it? Rudolph the Red I don't think it's that story. It's one of the Christmas stories where it's like a frozen guy. You guys tell me down below, I forgot the guy's name. He's in like a Christmas uh special story or something like that. A pity he uses his talents for evil rather than entertain children at birthday mm. parties. The trophy for the Seaboard mm. City Clay Court Tennis Championship. The perfect earth crime to make me filthy rich. Let's go, cat man. Holy hijacking, <laughs> Holy hijacking, cat man. <laughs> Dude, that was amazing. This is so Silver Age, like. Take the controls. Here we go. Oh, and March Manitor is with them. What's this? New player? No matter. Watch the mm. movie. Oh, uh, watch out! Ah, uh, yeah, he's good. Uh, come on, Catman. Game set and mm. match. Remember yep. the plane. I'll be gentle. <laughs> Hot girl just goes around and smashes it like she don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> halt in the name of justice. Oh. Dude, how are they supposed to stop him without uh save save them? Hot girl. Steady the scaffold. I'll go after the plane. I can't. My ring has no power for aluminum. <laughs> Hot girl's like, man, you are useless. Uh, catch him! Catch him! A girl basically told me, hey, you're basically useless. Let me go deal with this. Time to face the music. Ooh. Dang, that that took her out. Dude, music master is pretty. You can't escape. He's formidable. And then we got Blizzard. Let's go, Black Siren. <laughs> Wally showing up doing the puns. 
like I said, you never mm. had a snowball's chance and Flash, look. Uh oh. <laughs> a bunch a bunch of nuns are just about to crash. Wally, stop it! Hit the break. Oh, that's not good. Out cold day. They're both frozen. It seems I captured the greatest prize of all. Yeah, they're not doing good. Like the Injustice Guild are winning. Nice. Thanks. Think nothing of it. Hmm. Oh no. Dude, he is messed up. Something. Whoa. What the dude, what what was that? Was that like a vision? John. Uh What happened to him? Then Hot Girl is at like a grave site, like. We lost him. Hmm, who's on that here lies? Whose names are on that stone? Here lies here Scott's. Lies Scott Mason, the, the Green, Green Guardsman. Guardsman. No. Wait, so what does that mean? Bro, what does that mean? Okay. Great episode. Probably one of my favorite. Actually, yeah. Great episode. Probably one of my favorite episodes in the entire series. Like, it was amazing. I really just like the Silver Age vibes. Just, okay, the opening was really good. With them fighting Lex, then we got Flash, Green Lantern, Hot Girl, and Martian Manager being sent to another universe, but also being sent in the past. There's no Trinity in the storyline, no Batman, no Superman, no Wonder Woman, but I'm happy we're getting spotlight on the other Justice League members. Like, Wally, he gets a lot of great moments in this episode just saying puns, him trying to hit on Black Siren, it's just hilarious. Martian Manhunter, he's having vision, something's off, and then we got Hot Girl, she's just getting beat up, and then she found out about something at the end, which I'll get to soon, but the biggest thing I liked was, okay, they got sent to this other universe that was in the past, and it was basically the Silver Age, like, how everyone acts, and the Justice Guild, they had certain lines, like, Halts in the name of justice. Like, it felt Silver Age, and I like that. It, It's classic. Like, it was really awesome. And all the different heroes, like Mr. T, the Streak, uh, the Green Guardsman, which, at the end... Okay, I'm gonna get straight to the ending. Hot Girl, she discovers the tombstone, or the gravestones of the Green Guardsman, Catman, and all these heroes. So... Are they actually dead? My theory is that those heroes died and these other people, they took up the mantles and they want to honor their heroes. I don't know if that's true. Like, I don't know what to take from that ending. Like, it's a very interesting ending. It could mean so many things. Like, there's so much potential there. Hot Girl discovering the gravestones of the heroes she was just fighting with. Like... It doesn't make sense, but I I'm intrigued to find out what happens next. With the Martian Manager having visions and the entire world being destroyed, like, what does that mean? And then, okay, the Injustice Guild, I really liked him. Blizzard, that one guy, he was hilarious. He reminded me of, like, Mr. Freeze and all the ice puns. He also reminded me, like, this, I don't remember what the guy's name. It, okay, think of... Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, like those type of like shorts, Christmas stories. There's one where there's like a frozen guy and then like a fire guy. I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time since I watched those shorts, like when I was like young, like very young. But if you guys know, tell me down below. I'm trying to make like a comparison, but I can't remember what the guy's name is. But still, 
That Blizzard guy was hilarious. The wizard, he was really cool. Uh, the one guy who's based like Basketball Man, that's what I'm gonna call him. He was interesting. But my favorites in the Injustice Guild was Music Master. He was basically just Music Meister, just with a different name. His look, how he acted, that whole sequence where he's flying around with the plane and the green guardsman and hot girl are trying to stop him without destroying the plane. That was very interesting. And yeah, I just really liked how classic and Silver Age this episode felt. But my favorite thing about this episode was the fact that Jon Stewart, he knew about the Justice Guild as a kid. He would read comics, he was a fan of them, and to finally meet his heroes and fight alongside him, it, it's cool. Like, I just really like that. Like, it, it was a very emotional moment when he was explaining that to Wally. Maybe it was not post a hit like that, it was just like a exposition type moment. But me, it hits. I'm like, I'm a big fan of comics. I just like all these heroes. And if you ever, if I ever get to meet my heroes, like, it's something really cool. And Sean Stewart, he's an awesome character. He has a lot of layers to his character. But this detail about him reading comics and now me as heroes, the Justice Guild, it's awesome. Like, I really like that. It, like, it really hit me. And yeah, that's basically some of my thoughts on this episode. It's an awesome episode, one of my favorites in the entire series so far. Like, besides being well-paced, great animation, and just good character moments throughout, it's an interesting story that has a good cliffhanger that gets me excited to watch part two. And that's why I'm going to give this episode a 9.5 out of 10. I highly recommend it. If you like the Silver Age and you like the idea of you loving comics and eventually mean your heroes, having that apply to one of the best characters in the show, Jon Stewart, then I think you'll really enjoy this episode just like I did. And yeah, guys, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up. You should make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Justice League reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.